Hello, humans. In my ongoing effort to step up my game, we are going to start doing these intros with, you know, my face, where we get to gaze into each other's eyes for a little while before we start painting. And next time, if all goes well, we might even incorporate some makeup or lights. It'll be beautiful, just like a real YouTuber. Today we'll be working on selenium, which I painted in March of 2020, which was otherwise a completely normal month where nothing happened. Selenium is a calcogen, sharing many of the chemical attributes of oxygen and sulfur. I painted this column as satyrs, or possibly fauns, depending on whether you're speaking Greek or Latin, and in either case I've taken some liberties because a satyr's traditional disposition is not what I'm aiming at. These are more modern, less drunk, and <clears throat> disorderly. If you're following the series, you may have noticed that I have stopped trying to mask adjacent elements, and that's because now that they're all done, you can find any of the individual paintings or even the entire table in poster form in my Etsy shop, linked below. Since they're publicly available, I'm less precious about letting you see them prematurely. Like bromine there, hanging out, being all bro. Speaking of bro and other expressions of colloquial interest, when did Karen become a thing, and why? I have to say, every actual Karen I've ever met has been a wonderful woman, so I am inclined to blame Earthling Cinema and the off-screen Karen that Garrick Swermuloid was always addressing irritably. I think that when people call someone a Karen... They're calling them that Karen. And a shout out here to any real Karens watching. I know you're cool, and your name is lovely, and this too shall pass. And everyone else, if you have any insights into the origins of this as an insult, let me know in the comments. Also, what's your favorite slang? I'm really enjoying this election, this decade. Stan and chip and fam and especially yeet. I had to defend yeet the other day from someone arguing that it was an unnecessary word, and I contended that... To fling with an attitude of nihilistic joyful abandon is the closest existing approximation, and that we sure as heck needed a word for that. And this oracle deck needed a card that meant balance, and selenium really fits the bill. The crucial thing about selenium is that it's both an essential nutrient and a toxin. The trick is to get exactly the right amount, which most people don't manage to do, because unlike the other micronutrients that can hurt in high doses, the margin between selenium deficiency and selenium overdose is really, really tiny. Most of us are not getting the right amount. Serious deficiency causes heart problems and arthritis, and serious overdose can cause fatigue and hair loss and insanity, and they can predict which camp you personally are in based on where you live, because the amount of selenium in the soil is a fairly reliable marker for the humans living on it. I was moved to paint her with vitiligo, and as usual, if I were asked why, the most honest answer is because that's what I saw in my head. It makes sense for the element and for the concept, but I was painting from my heart. My attempts at representation in my art are careful and deferential, because I am well aware of which conversations my voice does not belong in, where my ears are what I bring to the game. When a discourse is about sexism, or sexual assault, or cancer survival, or parenting, I feel that I have plenty to say, and that my voice should be heard. But when the discourse is about ableism, or LGBTQ issues, or addiction, or racism, my role is to sit down, shut up, and learn something. And I am happy to know that. In this case, I searched out interviews with models who have vitiligo and watched enough to be persuaded that this painting would be seen as healthy representation, not appropriation. I hope. And it's part of the dream, isn't it, to try and create art that the whole of humanity can see themselves in. Her feet are looking huge, like a Clydesdale all up in here. I'm about to fix them. They will look marginally better, although these goat legs will probably bother me forever. I did the best I could, but those knees don't match, and I would have put her in a different yoga balance pose except that I tried in sketches, and they all look silly. This one was the least awkward, and it's still kind of... Eh. 
some of the white patches on the legs are absorbing my focus right now, which is funny because in person you can tell the difference in texture, but on camera it just looks like I'm foodling about with white paint to no purpose. <laughs> I have been in a depressive slump for a couple of weeks now, which, as usual, manifested in my doing things. Lots of things. Things all day, every day. House cleaning and random sporadic projects and intense attachment to book of faces and deep arguments with strangers about politics. And none of it being the stuff that actually matters to me. My patrons, my family time, and especially my videos all got put on hold. Right now, with a dozen people watching, I feel rueful about these bad brains weeks. If there's ever a hundred, or a thousand, or a million of you, I have to say, knowing myself as I do, I will feel just as bad. But I won't magically get better. I want to be the kind of person that can create content regardless of how they feel. Those people are heroes. But I'm much more likely to be the other kind of content creator who does their best, but is still wildly unpredictable in their productivity. And I always eventually make another video. It's funny, I've got something like 90 of these left to do. Should I start lumping them together, you think? Or do you like being able to focus on individual images? Let me know in the comments. Or let me know how you feel, or what you ate for lunch, or whether you also scrub the bejesus out of your house when you have much more important things to do. <laughs> Leave any comment you like, just don't bring up politics. It was a no-brainer to make Selenium's clothing red. One of its allotropes is a red powder, and half of the selenium produced commercially is used to add a red tint to blown glass, either because a red color is desired or in order to cancel out green iron impurities, like manganese. It is named after the Greek word for moon, so of course I had to include a moon somewhere, but don't get attached to that moon. Or to that tattoo thing. I was trying out ideas. Don't judge me. <clears throat> anyway. Besides glass production, it has other uses, of course. Uh, one of its properties is that it's electrically conductive, but only when light is hitting it. And the brighter it gets, the more conductive it gets. Isn't that wild? Which made it an important component in phones and photocopiers for decades. Neither of those is really a thing anymore, but what are you going to do? Current uses include solar cells and lithium-selenium batteries. And yes, the funky loincloth is a much better spot for her symbol and the moon. You may now proceed to get attached to them while I proceed to try and make that hand look graceful. By the way, despite the best efforts of my brain, I did manage to complete something important last week. Avi's cutter costume that he said he wanted six months ago. <laughs> I finished it just in time for him to wear it to our local con, and then he wore his hand-me-down Legolas costume instead. <sighs> but I was careful not to give him shit about that. This is actually the fourth Elf Quest costume I've made, I think. When the older kids were younger, one of them wanted to be Dewshine, and a few years later, Kavi. Although I never did finish Kavi's war gloves. They were really hard, so I skipped them they haunt me. Oh, and I also made a lovely Nightfall costume for me. There's always one person at every con who recognizes the character, but so far ElfQuest seems to have avoided the mainstream, and I don't know whether to be glad or sorry. It's nice to have something beautiful that only the chosen few share with you, but then again, I do remember what it was like when Star Wars finally stopped being niche, and I could buy a, an Ewok hoodie at Hot Topic, and, you know, that is also really satisfying. So we shall have to wait and see. These plants I'm painting are loco weed, so-called because livestock that eat them go crazy. And here we are again, basking in the glow of a completed painting soaked through with knowledge and random neural firings. <laughs> I hope you liked it. I'll try to achieve it again next week. In the meantime, listen to people whose lives are not like yours. Revel in your obscure fandoms. Avoid the crazy flowers. And stay healthy. <laughs> Yeet. <sighs> All right.
ongoing effort to step up my game. I need yep, yep. I am here doing a thing. Oh Lord, Robin. One more time or nine, you know, however many it takes. I've been doing this for a minute. It feels like two years. Gaze. Gaze. 2020. Here's your reminder. Option. Alexa, cancel reminder. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Selenium, I painted in March of 2020, which was otherwise a completely normal, boring month where nothing... Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little later. <laughs> 